Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video, I always appreciate that. So the breakdown here, first of all, I'm going to give my thoughts and kind of overall opinions on Alien Romulus. I got to see it yesterday, had a fantastic time with it. Then we're going to talk about a potential Alien Predator crossover movie. So Fede Alvarez, the director of Alien Romulus, was being interviewed and he's come out and made comments about a potential new Alien vs Predator movie. So that's really, really exciting. But before we get into those comments about what the director had to say on an Alien Predator crossover movie, let's go back and let's talk about my brief comments on Alien Romulus. So like I said, I got to see the movie yesterday. I'll talk about the positives first and then talk about the negatives after. So the positives for me about the movie, by the way, this is going to be kind of a little bit of a spoiler discussion here. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, click off this video, go watch the movie and then come back to it after, guys. So for me, the aesthetic of the movie, they absolutely nailed the sets in this movie are insane. The people who built the sets for this, it looks exactly like it's ripped right out of that first Alien movie. All of the, the old tech in the ships, all of the kind of the industrial feel of what the ships and um, kind of what that world looks like, the machinery, it just looks absolutely incredible. And they did a fantastic job with the weapons, the sets, the costumes, everything looks exactly what you want it to look like as an Alien fan. Absolutely 10 out of 10 on that. Also, the two main characters, Kaylee Spaney and David Johnson, they do a fantastic job. Um, kind of a brother and sister role. The uh, the male role, David Johnson, he plays a android, a synthetic. And uh, Kaylee Spaney um, is kind of like the guardian of him. But yeah, their chemistry on screen was great. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the main points for me. So the chemistry between those two main characters. The other characters that are on the crew, they're quite forgetful. I don't even remember what their names are, to be honest. They're just there to be kind of cannon fodder, like in most of these kind of movies, like these old slasher movies. The alien goes out and it just hunts and kills people and they're kind of forgetful characters. But that doesn't mean they don't add to the story. They do, but they're just a bit forgetful, kind of there in the background. But they do the job they need to. They kind of present the alien as a formidable force. So they're kind of, they kind of fulfill the role they need to. They're just a bit forgetful when it comes to names and stuff like that. But yeah, the two main characters, absolutely great. The chemistry is great. The aesthetic, like I said, on uh, the ship, the, uh, the sets, um, the costumes and the design and everything, the score, the musical score, everything like that is fantastic. Also, the CGI on the uh, alien itself um, looks fantastic. It's very used very minimally. Most of everything that happens on screen, the director has already said this, is um, is practical effects. So like the face huggers, the alien, everything is kind of like mechanical or, um, you know, physical props. Whereas they use the CGI very sparingly, but when they do, um, it looks fantastic on the xenomorphs and uh, they do a great job with the CGI. It doesn't look too obvious. It doesn't look too fake and uh, they do a great job. So that's kind of my brief overall thoughts on what, I've, what I found positive. So some of the negatives here, I'm going to be completely honest. A lot of you guys will probably disagree with me, but the, mostly the negatives, the xenomorphs in the movie, literally, if you looked on your watch and you counted out the amount of time that xenomorphs are actually on screen in this movie, it probably adds up to three minutes of the screen time of the movie. This movie is called Alien, right? But yet you probably see xenomorphs for less than three minutes of the entire movie. You barely see the xenomorphs in this movie whatsoever and that really disappointed me i was expecting to have you know at least half of the second act at least most of the third act to have alien scenes to have the xenomorph on screen to be a big presence and it just doesn't happen the alien's kind of in the background he's very kind of faded into the background you don't get a good look at him they use the xenomorphs very sparingly and um i guess that was to be expected, but I found it a little bit disappointing. I wanted to see more of the Xenomorphs. I wanted to see them more clearly on screen, but maybe I was just setting myself up, you know, for something that I shouldn't have expected. But um, the face huggers seem to be a lot more prominent in this movie than the Xenomorphs do. So that kind of disappointed me a bit. But um, also the third act where there's this kind of skinwalker, zombie, vampire looking motherfucker at the end of the movie. The movie just goes off the rails completely and I have no idea what the hell is going on. This character gives birth to like a human, human xenomorph hybrid monster thing. Like I didn't even know what I was watching at that point. And um, I wouldn't say I was disappointed, but uh, I didn't feel like I was watching an alien movie at that point. I had no idea what was going on. Um, like, yeah, it was just completely off the rails for me. 
So um, that's just kind of my brief thoughts on the movie. I did enjoy it overall, but the Xenomorphs should have been on screen a lot longer than they were, in my opinion. And the last act with this kind of weird alien, human, zombie, skinwalker thing, I don't even know how to describe it, um, was kind of a bit weird for me. I don't really think it landed well. I didn't feel like I was watching Alien anymore. Um, it was still suspenseful, but it was still super weird. It wasn't something I expected from an Alien movie. But anyway, guys, that's my kind of thoughts with the uh, Alien Romulus movie. It's definitely worth going to watch. If I had to rate it out of 10, I would give it I would give it a 8 out of 10 at least. There's two points that you could still improve on, those two negative points that I brought up. But anyway, let's move on to director Fede Alvarez and his comments regarding an Alien vs. Predator movie. So yeah, like I was saying earlier in the video, um, Fede Alvarez, the director of Alien Romulus, he was being interviewed and naturally someone asked him a question about an Alien vs. Predator crossover. Obviously now we have two really good established films in each of the franchises. We have Prey, the latest Predator movie, which was really, really well received. That movie is incredible. There were some people that were saying that Prey was better than the original. I'm not sure if that comment stands up, but I can understand why people would make that comment. And now we have Alien Romulus established as the latest Alien movie in that franchise. Obviously, it looks like a lot of critics and fans are loving Alien Romulus. It looks like it's probably going to go on to do well financially. So it's only natural that people are going to start asking questions. When are we going to see the next alien vs predator crossover so with that question on everybody's minds fans especially that brings us to this piece of footage here where Fede alvarez was asked that particular question about an alien vs predator crossover and this is what he had to say let's check out this footage Thank you. I don't know. I mean, it's going to depend on how well this does and if people want to still see that. I think it may be something that I have to co-direct with my buddy Dan. That would be something we should do. Maybe we should do like, you know, like Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez did with like From Dust Till Dawn. We do that. I direct one half, he direct the other half. There you go. That's, that's a bitch. So yeah, that comment there that Fede Alvarez, the director of Alien Romulus, made regarding an Alien vs. Predator movie, the fact that he wants to direct half of the movie and then have Dan Trachtenberg, the director of Prey, uh, direct the other half of the movie. So there would be co-directors on that movie, both adding to their strengths with Fede Alvarez on the Alien half and Dan Trachtenberg then uh, coming in to direct the Predator part of the movie. That sounds like an absolutely incredible idea. I'd be so excited if this actually came to fruition. Obviously, uh, Fede Alvarez was asked this on the spot. He came up with an answer off the top of his head, but it does make me think with that answer that he came up with, um, you know, in regards to this question of the crossover, has there been conversations that have actually gone on behind the scenes? You know, have they have they just kind of talked about it? Maybe they've sketched it out. Maybe they've made a few ideas that, you know, if Alien Romulus is successful, could they potentially go on to do this crossover in the near future? Obviously, we've had two Alien vs. Predator movies with Alien vs. Predator, and then we had Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Both of those movies, they weren't so well received. The fans were quite disappointed with those crossover movies. Even though those movies are quite bad, I do recommend watching them. There are There is some fun to be had with those movies. There's some genuinely good action scenes. Just seeing an alien and a predator on screen kind of fighting each other, even if it's in a bad movie, it's still some fun to be had there. But yeah, like I said, the fact that um, Fede Alvarez kind of answered this question in the way that he did, it sounds to me as though maybe behind the scenes there has been a few conversations, no matter how big or how small, that maybe they have been kind of discussing the future of these two franchises and that there could be something there. That's just me wearing a tinfoil hat though and kind of being a conspiracy theorist. But as a fan, it does get me excited to hear that we could have a co-directed Alien vs Predator movie in the future. So in my opinion, when it does come to the next Alien vs Predator crossover, I don't think they should do it immediately. I think it's something they should build up to. Obviously, like as movie fans, we love our cinematic crossovers, but I think they should establish these two franchises a bit more before doing this crossover. So let's have at least one or two more Predator or Alien movies to kind of really establish the universes that they're building within those two um, properties. And, you know, you can start off in a small way. So instead of having a crossover straight away, start displaying Easter eggs of Predator in the Alien movies or having Alien uh, Easter eggs in the Predator movies. Kind of start teasing each of the kind of, um, 
you know, Alien or Predator in each other's movies, having those small teasers that fans are going to latch on to, start getting fans really excited about a possible build-up and then kind of crescendo it with a crossover, kind of like they do with Marvel, where you start having Easter eggs and you start building up to that crossover ever so slightly. You tease it. You tease fans to boiling point where they really want the movie and then hopefully they bring out the crossover and it goes on to be financially successful. But that's just my thoughts on what they should do to kind of build up this crossover rather than doing it immediately and then kind of um, failing at the box office like they did with those other two Alien movies. Alien vs Predator movies, I should say. But yeah, guys, so anyway, just to finish off, we do have a very, very small teaser for the Alien FX Earth TV series that has been showing at local cinemas. And I managed to get a kind of the small teaser clip. So let's check out this footage. It's very, very small. It doesn't show a lot, but let's check it out just before we finish off the video. So yeah, that was the small clip that's doing the round. It's now kind of showing this small teaser in front of viewings of Alien Romulus. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see this teaser when I went to see Romulus yesterday at the theater. Um, so they must be showing it at different places throughout the world. But um, seeing Xenomorphs come to Earth, I mean, that's something new. That's something interesting. And um, I can't wait to see what they do with this FX series. Um, I really hope it's good. And I hope it just makes the franchise of Alien all the more stronger. But yeah, guys, so that's kind of where we are. So... Um, that was my thoughts on Alien Romulus. I know it was brief, but um, I didn't want to go into too much detail and bore you guys with my thoughts and opinions. So a brief overview for you guys. Also, we kind of checked out those comments from Fede Alvarez um, regarding his thoughts and opinions on a crossover of Alien vs. Predator. And we just checked out that small teaser there for the Alien FX Earth series, which uh, I think is going to be exciting and I can't wait to see what they do with it. So I throw it off to you guys. Let me know what you think about everything we've covered in this video. What stood out to you? You know, were you uh, enjoying Alien Romulus, the movie, if you've seen it? Were you disappointed by it? And what do you think about a potential crossover of Alien vs. Predator? Are you up for it? Or do you think it's a bad idea? Whatever your thoughts are, pop them down in the comment section below, guys. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. As always, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.